How does love transform the soul? And what is gained through this surrender? What ignites the flames of poetry in Rumi? Today, we explore Rumi's teachings on the surrender of the self, where each breath is a renewal and every moment holds a hidden miracle. Welcome to part two of our exploration of Rumi's journey through love and self-transformation. In part one, we examined the intense impact of Shams on Rumi's life, seeing how love shattered his old self and left him to rebuild his new identity around divine truth. Today, we continue uncovering how, in, in the depth of surrender, Rumi finds rebirth and the miraculous beauty hidden within each moment. Rumi starts by asking us to die, not a physical death, but a release from our trivial concerns that bind us. He says that only by letting go of these distractions can we see the Christ-like miracles in each breath. This is profound. It's about a rebirth in each moment, seeing life as a constant unfolding of divine grace. <laughs> Rumi continues with a powerful image. Each soul, like Mary, bears miraculous life when washed in the love of the divine. Each breath, he says, can give birth to something sacred. In our lives, think of moments of inspiration or deep realization as these breaths of new life. When we are fully immersed in love, every experience becomes a revelation. When we reach this state of purity, our soul glows with humility and grace, a transformation visible in our very being. The ordinary turns into extraordinary, as if our hearts shine brighter even through life's struggles. This inner glow, according to Rumi, is the essence of a soul touched by divine love. <laughs> Rumi tells us to keep Shams din's name on our breath so that our words may flourish. Shams was Rumi's inspiration, a spark that nested the flames of fire in Rumi's heart. Who or what inspires us? Who ignites the light within us and pushes us to be our true selves? We must seek such a guide. What ignites the flames of poetry in Rumi? Rumi asks us to see the blood in his words, not just the rhythm. Because the divine love casts blood in him, says Rumi. This line reflects the raw intensity of Rumi's emotions. Love so consuming that it strains the heart and makes his eyes flood with the pain of separation. For us, it's a reminder that the true passion leaves a mark. It is not something we can brush off or hide. For Rumi, separation from God is painful, so much so that to lighten his heart, he pours this pain, likening it to blood, into his words, which act like cups of blood. Why the blood and pain? Rumi speaks of a time when he and all humanity were in the presence of God, surrounded by wondrous beauty. But with creation came separation, a distancing from the divine source. For those like Rumi, who have realized the depth of the separation, it brings an overwhelming sorrow, a heartache that feels like an open wound. This pain is a reminder of that lost connection, a longing to reunite with the Divine Beloved. Rumi felt that Shams understood his pain deeply, seeing right through his struggles, recognizing his hidden griefs, Rumi looks into his soul and sees it entangled and chaotic. This turmoil is not something to fix, but something to embrace. 
When life feels confusing and twisted, maybe it's a sign that transformation is near, that our inner turmoil is setting the stage for something far greater. من نظر کردم دمی در جان سودارنگ خیش دیدم او را پیچ پیچ و شورش و دروایی Rumi asks his soul when, when, when this chaos will end. Never the answer comes to him because the soul's love for the divine is not bound by time. Rumi tells us that divine love is eternal and so is the soul's longing for this love, a non-temporal love game. گفتم آخر چیست؟ گفت دست را از من بشون من نیم در عشق او امروزی و فردایی So what is Rumi teaching us about love and transformation? He shows us that surrendering to love does not mean we are defeated. It means we are reborn. By letting go, we make room for a new life, new meaning and new purpose. In every breath, in every small act, there is an opportunity for renewal. Imagine a city ruled by love, where generosity flows without end. Rumi invites us to build this city within ourselves, where compassion guides our actions and divine love becomes our law. A city ruled by love, where the lovers sacrifice themselves for the beloved. در هر آن شهری که نوشروان عشقش حاکم است شد به جان در باختن آن شهر حاتم تایی If you wish to learn how, according to Rumi, surrender to divine love liberates the soul, I invite you to watch this episode. You are also welcome to join our weekly Rumi reading group, where we examine the many layers of Rumi's wisdom together.